Hello and welcome to part 17 of my fully interactive walkthrough of Pokemon Red. Now in this part we're going to be exploring Celadon City. Who are you? Keep out of Team Rocket's way. Alright. This is my trusted pal Poltyrath. It evolved from Poliwhirl when I used Waterstone. Not a Waterstone, just Waterstone. Poliwrath. Said Ribby Ribbit, apparently. Alright, so our first location is this building here that we want to visit. And this is Saldo Mansion. Now, there's absolutely nothing of interest at this point in this door. So, we're not going to go in through the front. We're actually going to have a wander around to the back of the building. And there's something very interesting in there. There's, in fact, a certain Pokemon... Which is truly unique in the first 151 Pokemon, in the first generation of Pokemon. Alright, so we're going to be acquiring that Pokemon. Well first, this sign knows everything. Who knows everything? Hmm, that's a lot. Do you know everything? I know everything. Okay, so it is this guy. He knows everything about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy. Oh, breaking the fourth wall. Does he not know the rule about breaking the fourth wall? Because he's meant to know everything. Never mind. Get together with your friends and trade Pokemon. No, thank you. <laughs> Alright. It's a pamphlet on TMs. There are 50 TMs in all. There are also 5 HMs that can be used repeatedly. Sylphco. Thanks for all the information. So, inside this Pokeball is this rather unique Pokemon. Eevee. And Eevee can evolve one of three different ways, which in the first generation was kind of a big deal because every other Pokemon evolutionary line was linear. Whether it evolved twice or once or not at all, there was a definite path of evolution it was going to take either by leveling up or by using a stone or some combination of two or by trading, that sort of thing. Eevee's different. Eevee does not have one evolutionary path it has three so Eevee could and that's where you guys are going to come in by the way I'm going to have Eevee in my team so we're either going to have Flareon which is obviously a fire type Flareon yeah you see what they did there um, so we could have Flareon which is going to replace Charmeleon so bear in mind when you vote let's just talk to this guy quickly Oh hi, I finally finished Pokemon. Not done yet, this might be useful. Team 18, I knew he was going to give me that, so yeah, there we go. Team 18 is counter, not like the one I'm leaning on, mind you. Haha, <laughs> see what you did there. Um, yeah, so we can have Flareon. Eevee can evolve into Flareon, and it would do so using... This, a Firestone. There we go. Um, so this is how you you could choose how to evolve Eevee. It was because it was done by stone. But three of the four stones, five stones if you include the new stone, uh, work on it. So you can have Flareon, but it will replace Charmeleon. So leave a comment, thumbs up the comment saying Flareon. If you want me to have a Flareon in my team instead of a Charmeleon. Um, the next option is to use the Thunderstone, which would evolve it into Jolteon. And Jolteon would obviously replace Pikachu in the team. In fact, I'll tell you what, I'm going to go out on a limb, I'm going to buy a Thunderstone right now, because I'm either going to evolve Pikachu, or Eevee using it, aren't I? There we go, let's have a Thunderstone. So I'm either going to have a Raichu or a Jolteon in the next episode. Um, so yeah, Jolteon would replace Pikachu, but is still an option. Or we can have the Waterstone, use the Waterstone, which would give us Vaporeon, which is a water type. Um, which wouldn't replace anything, because we don't have one of those yet. So, um... Entirely up to you guys, you know, which uh, Pokemon I end up with. Flareon, if you want me to get rid of Charmeleon and have Flareon instead. Jolteon instead of Pikachu. Or Vaporeon in the last sort of space that we've got in the party at the moment. Obviously Mew's not really a party member. Um, so yeah, leave a vote. And also, when you vote for which Pokemon you want me to have in my team out of those three, give them a nickname as well. Oh, hang on, you know what, while I'm here... I may as well go upstairs. But yeah, give the vote for a nickname as well, and I'll pick I'll pick the Pokemon based on what's got the most votes, but I'll pick the nickname based on what I like the most. My sister is a trainer, believe it or not, but she's so immature, she drives me nuts. 
I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Right, fair enough. Okay, so that is a fairly strong hint from Nintendo what you're meant to do here. A vending machine. Here's the menu. Right, let's have a fresh water. A vending machine. Here's the menu. Soda pop. Soda pop popped out. Nah. I like that sentence. Well done. And lemonade. Okay, uh, actually. I'll explain why in a second, but I'm going to buy another fresh water. Okay, so, this girl wants a drink, but she actually wants three drinks, because each drink you give her, she'll give you a different TM. So, give her a drink. Yep, let's give her fresh water. Yay! Fresh water. Thank you. You can have this from me. TM 13. 13, I'm back in my brain here. 13. Oh! Contains ice beam, there we go, I should have just kept reading. I was going to say ice beam as well, but I wasn't sure. It can freeze the target sometimes. Uh, it's quite a good move, actually, ice beam. Very accurate ice attack, good for taking on dragons. Because that's their only weakness in first generation, as there's no dragon type moves. Um, not offensive ones that do variable damage, anyway. Uh, soda pop, let's give her now. Soda pop. Thank you. You can have this from me. TM48. TM48 contains rock slide. Yeah, pretty good move, and sometimes it can make the target flinch, that means. She still wants something to drink, give her a drink, give her some lemonade, yay, lemonade. Thank you, you can have this for me, and this one is try attack Yeah, it is, there we go. Oh, she has nothing to say about that. Alright, so, try attacks a normal type move. Uh, was it? I don't think it was introduced yet in first generation that it could cause one of three... Uh, that's a sailment, so we'll, we'll just forget I ever said that, shall we? Alright, so now we head down. We could have taken the elevator, but what the hey. Let's uh, go down the stairs and out of the department. So that's pretty much everything I wanted to do in there, if I'm honest. Um, now what that girl should have done really is gone downstairs and sold her TMs and what, I think. But never mind. Right, so, next port of call is... Erica's gym, we're finally getting to get into some Pokemon battling. What are we? Seven, eight minutes into the video, something like that. Finally gonna battle. Oh! Okay, so Vaporeon will only be our fifth member. Fluffnut, Mew, won't actually have to be replaced just yet. So I'm not gonna use Eevee just yet in the team, but it it is there because it is gonna have a permanent place in my team. I do want to use an Evolution, I've decided. I've made a decision by myself here, guys. I want an evolution, so remember to leave a vote, to leave a comment voting. What are you doing? Hehehe, <laughs> this gym is great. It's full of women. N Nintendo, I'm disappointed in you. I've got to be honest. This is a kid's game. Never mind. Leave the lecturous old man out there. Oh, the guy who helps you isn't in here either. It's quite a good little detail, actually, because it's women only in this gym. Okay, so let's, uh, who's top of the list? I didn't really notice. Um, yeah, okay, go with Gale Plot first. I was, go with Butterfree. I was going to switch, but now let's uh, go with that. Is that. Really? Hi, can you see me? Hello? Oh, now you can see me. You need to go to Specsavers, love. Hey, you are not allowed in here. You're not allowed in this Pokemon gym for Pokemon battles, so what I'm going to do is Pokemon battle you. And then let you off if you beat me, I presume. Last sent out, Bellsprout. Alright then, so, confusion. Whoa, okay, that didn't do as much as I hoped, really, if I'm honest. And it got a critical hit on that, which is OP in this generation, and every hit's going to be a critical hit. Oh, it only hit twice, that's nice, that's nice. That's very, that's... Returning the luck a bit for me, I guess. Right, okay, so... Butterfree didn't take down Weaving Bells, sorry. Gale Platt didn't take down Weaving Bells, so... Uh, B Bellsprout. Gale Platt didn't take down Bellsprout. There we go. So it's not going to take down Weeping Bell very well either. So let's send in Blaze the Charmeleon. It's got a cool nickname. It'll be a shame if you guys vote for Flareon. Not that I'm trying to influence you. I'm not. I've got no problem with Flareon. I just like the nickname Blaze. Oh, here we go. 
sleep and wrap, sleep and wrap. I don't know, actually, no, what's the advantage of having to sleep before wrapping? Wrapping stops me attacking anyway, so I don't... Whatever. <laughs> wakey, wakey! Oh, come on, Blaze. What are you doing? Oh, he's starting another wrap now. Right, wake up. Then Raps can hit next time and finish. No, that's not happened. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> Chameleon's slowly but surely going to get taken down by a weeping bell and be thoroughly humiliated. Oh, we're awake! Okay, now, can this be the last attack of Rap, please? That'd be lovely. Look at that for timing. Yes. Thank you, Lady Luck, I suppose. After all that damage, you let that weeping bell dish out to me. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, you are forgiven, Lady Luck. Level 31. And I'm defeated. Lass. You're too rough. So I'm allowed here now, am I? Bleah! I hope Erica wipes you out. Oh, once again. Short-sighted lady over here. Oh, look! A guy! I didn't see you one step further back. I was getting bored. Why don't you go out of the gym? Or something like that. Right, come on then, beauty. I don't think the sprite for the beauty is that beautiful. I mean, okay, I know it's limited, but I think she looks kind of ugly, if I'm honest. But never mind. Oh, now we're poisoned. Good grief. This is, this is one of those gyms where it's just frustrating as hell, because... You're just constantly under some sort of status ailment, status ailment, I don't know, one or the other. Status, status, what do I normally say? Ah, oh, who cares. Yeah, you're right, you're usually poisoned or paralysed or asleep or confused or something in these sort of gyms. Oh, or wrapped, of course, yep, that's, that's pretty much a status ailment in this first generation, it's that severe. Hit yourself, yes! Knock yourself out, yes! Have that. Go on, Gale. Oddish. So I keep fighting. Oh, yeah, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> Famous last words. Keep going. Absorb shouldn't do very much. A quarter times effective. There we go. One HP. Thank you. Let's use Bell Sprout while I change. Nope. And let's hope I don't get wrapped up in all this and taken out. Ooh, ooh. God, I thought I was going to take it down in one then. Ah, oh, there we go. Attempted that one, didn't I? Attempted fate with that. Did tempt fate a little bit with that one. Ugh. Oh, that's, that's nice. There we go. Wraps over. Confusion's done. Battle's over. You see what I mean, guys? Look at look at her face. She looks... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Unless we're supposed to believe she's a beauty because she's uh, talking about her makeup, wearing a very, very, very ridiculously short skirt, wearing what I would call a belt, and high heels, if that's, that's what Nintendo are trying to promote is beautiful. Shame on you, Nintendo. Oh. We're poisoned. Let's have another battle. Hello. Look at my grass Pokemon. They're so easy to raise. They're also pretty easy to beat. Not a big fan of the grass type in case anyone's not picked up on that. Oh, no, another, another nice ugly beauty, yeah. Okay, confusion. Oh, this is quite a high level actually. Nah, it's still a two hit, it's fine. Oh, it's confused! It's confused. Go on, hit yourself, 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 hit yourself. Ah, oh, hit me. There you go. Pro tip, guys. Shouting, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, hit yourself, over and over again. Doesn't make it hit itself. Pro gamer tips from Ibeza. Right, okay. So, Bell Sprout's down. Oh, Gail Platt's looking a bit worse for wear here. We're about to use another Bell Sprout. Will I change? No, I believe in you, Gale. Let's go. I believe in you. Get a critical hit. Nope, never mind. 
Oh dear. Oh dear. We yeah, have rats and poison. Let's hope this doesn't go on for too long. In fact, let's hope it doesn't hit one more time because we'll be out. We'll be done. Oh, we're done. We fainted. No! Oh, right, Blaze! Go do it. Oh my, look at the damage that we even did to Blaze. Good grief. There we go. Okay, that's you dealt with. You know what, I'm not even going to go back and fix Gale Platt just yet. I'm just going to go through with Blaze and um, Sever if I need to as well. Sever the Alakazam. What do you have to say? We only use grass type Pokemon at our gym. We also use them for making flower arrangements. That sounds lovely. Grass type Pokemon are tough against the water type. And that's about it. Oh, rock and ground I suppose. Yeah, fair enough. They are however weak to... Yeah, you. Bug, flying, fire, um, ice... I'm sure there's something else. Maybe not. Maybe that's it. Oh, because most of them are dual type poison as well. They also have a issue, serious issue with psychic type as well. Aren't you the peeping Tom? No, love. He's still outside. He's still out there. I reprimanded him quite severely. And Nintendo. Yeah, you're welcome. Junior trainer, female sent out Bulbasaur. Oh, it's starter versus starter. I mean, I don't think it's going to go great for Wolverine-like, but yeah. Oh, well, you know, he got growling. I mean, I set him on fire and he managed to growl before he died. So, yeah, good fight. Good fight, well put up. About to use Ivysaur. Ooh, okay, now it's getting interesting. Begs the question why shouldn't it evolve, you know, both of her Pokemon. But, uh, yeah. Growl. So, uh, yet again, the same stuff. Have I sort of stats no better than Bulbasaur's then? Because that seems to do the exact same amount. Oh, whatever. There we go. Gave off more EXP, which is all I care about. She's in shock, apparently, that my fire type beat her grass types. Oh, you weren't peeping. We get a lot of Garkers. There's only one out there at the moment. Love, you might want to go and hit him. Go on, Fluff Nut. Let's get us in here. Hey! Don't bring any bugs or fire Pokemon in here. <laughs> so Lass doesn't want me to have any bugs or fire Pokemon. Now my bug is fainted, admittedly. However, my fire Pokemon is fine and dandy. Ready to go. Oh, we got a burn. Burn. Oh, grin. May not attack. Paralyzed. Not good. So, you know, we both got status affected in the first uh, first go there. Which is nice. However, he got knocked out. It's obviously a lot worse. About to use Gloom. Will I change? Yeah, Paralysis annoys me because you have to attack second and because of all the times it doesn't attack and stuff like that. So, uh Time to break out Trevor. Oh, I'll play it safe and use Psybeam. I was going to use Confusion because of the type advantage, but no, let's make sure we knock it out. There we go. Trevor's a beast in here. Oh, you. <laughs> yes. Our leader, Erica, might be quiet, but she's also very skilled. Ah, oh, I didn't change order. Welcome to Celadon Gym. Thank you. You better not underestimate girl power. Alright. Oh, it's like uh, the Spice Girls when Jerry left. There's four of them standing in a line. Talk about girl power and not being very good at what they do. Weeping Bell. Weeping Bell, Weeping Bell, Weeping Bell. I can take down this Weeping Bell with a paralyzed. Oh, no. Paralysis and Rap. Horrible, horrible, horrible combination. Still gonna fight it. Fair play, if it takes down a Charmeleon, then fair play to it. Power to it. It's gonna get absolutely smashed by Alakazam, by Trevor. Sorry. Yeah, more power to it. Oh my life. Right, Rap isn't 100% accurate, so I'm just banking on a bit of luck here, basically, to uh, make it miss. Ah, 
Okay, this really isn't good tactics doing this, but after this battle, in fact, no, I'm going to take on the other trainer and then I'm going to go and heal up and uh, come in full strength to take on Erika. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, we've missed. Oh, good. <laughs> I got so excited then because they missed the map. And then I was fully paralyzed. Lady Luck clearly has fallen out with me. In between last time I interacted with, the, interacted with her and now. We really don't want to have to use Pizza Shoe in here. He's not, he's not going to do that well. So let's uh, make sure Alkazam, Trevor, sorry, takes everyone out. It's super effective. About to use Gloom. Psybeam will take care of that pretty quickly, I reckon. Boom, have that. Whoa, critical it like it was needed. Down he goes. And an Ivysaur. Once again, I had to type advantage here because of dual typing. Lovely jubbly. Lovely and indeed jubbly. Sit down. Trevor's level 32. Go on, Trev. Trevor Sinclair. Is named after. Oh, Beatrix. Yes, yes, you were. I didn't bring my best Pokemon. Wait till next time. Really, love? Did you not? Okay, take your word for it. All right, you. Last one. Pleased to meet you. My hobby is Pokemon training. All right. You're in the right place then, considering you're in a Pokemon gym, in a Pokemon game, in a Pokemon universe. And you're Pokemon. Execute. Oh! Touche, love. Did not see that coming. Alright, so I won't have a type advantage here. That's quite a high level as well. Dig. Oh, wow. Okay. So I might be, I'm going to be better off using Psybeam here because Alakazam is better at special. And since nothing's, everything is not very effective, yeah, I'm better off using that just a bit. Barrage isn't going to do an awful lot anytime soon, I don't think. Even if it hits five times, it's going to do 15 HP. So I'm not overly worried about that. Let's just Psybeam this bad boy into Oblivion. Goodbye, eggs. Random selection of eggs. Oh, that was the only Pokemon. Fair enough. Oh, splendid. <laughs> Splendiferous. I have a blind date coming up. I have to learn to be polite. Fascinating. I just... Oh, okay. So I can't dig out of here. And I replaced um, teleport, didn't I? Oh, not... <sighs> Not going well today, this guys. There we go. Let's get out of here. He's still here. The lecherous old pervert. Come on, fluff nut. Look at us through this as well. There we go. It's not that way. Is it? Oh, whatever. I'll go this way. There we go, and up to the Pokemon Center. That was quick. Okay, so let's uh, get back to business. Keep going the long way around these houses. Let's uh, head down here. Fluff nut. Time to shine again. Wow, I didn't realize how long that little it was first time right then Erica coming for you fool hello lovely weather isn't it it's so pleasant oh dear I must have dozed off welcome my name is Erica I am the leader of Celadon gym I teach the art of flower arranging my Pokemon are of the grass type oh I'm sorry I had no idea that you wish to challenge me, you dozy mare. Of course I want to challenge you, why else would I be in your stupid gym? Very well, but I shall not lose. Everyone, take a moment to savour that. She's going to lose, guys. 
spoilers, even though I don't know because I'm commentating live, spoiler alert, she's going to lose. Alright, so at least we're breaking out some proper Pokemon now. Bye, Gale. Good girl, I guess she is now. Oh, well, you heathen. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Probably could have knocked it out by now, instead of faffing about with sleep powder. I was trying not to get poisoned, ironically, though. Oh, now you stay asleep. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, game. Okay, right, so. That's going to be like a four hit KO. That's pretty poor, that. Pretty poor, that Gale. Oh, well. Well done. You just proved me wrong there, haven't you? Three hit KO. You know what? It may have even been a five before that critical. Go on, Gale. Well done. Well in. Tangela, will I change? Yeah, you damn skippy. And what I've got with a real type advantage against Tangela is Blaze. So let's get Ember in. Constrict. But I don't think that works the same as Wrap. No, it doesn't. Right, good. Good, 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 good. I hate moves like Wrap and Bind. Ah, oh, sliver of HP. Someone suggested in a nicknaming video, one of the nicknaming videos, that I should call Charmy Lee and Sliver because of the number of times it mercifully let other Pokemon live with a sliver of HP. Done it again? Oh well, it's, it's down now, it's down. Go on, Blaze! I just noticed four more levels to Charizard. Unless he gets booted off the team unceremoniously next episode, of course. Vileplume, will I change? Yeah, let's let everyone have a go, shall we? Gale Platt took down Victory Bell, just about. Blaze took down Tangela. Or Tangela? Tangela. I'm pretty sure it's Tangela. And Trevor can take out Vileplume. Anything? Boom, in one. Look at that. No crit, just overpoweredness. Ibeza defeated Erika. I've only just noticed the similarities in size and shape of, of our names. You are remarkably strong. Reminds me of friends. You are surprisingly strong. I must confer you the rainbow badge. Woo! Money! 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 The rainbow badge will make Pokemon up to level 50 obey. It also allows Pokemon to use strength in and out of battle. Please also take this with you. Ibeza received TM21. Thank you. TM21 contains Mega Drain. Okay. Half the damage it inflicts is drained to heal your Pokemon. That's a pretty good deal. Alright, so Fluffnut, let's get out of here. Oh, I forgot we had Poison. That'll be nice and annoying. Okay, so just going to head back to the uh, Pokemon Centre. Hope the Gale Platt doesn't faint. Oh, no, no. It only does one damage every four steps and we had 66 then, so that would be a lot of steps. 264 steps. Who would have taken? I don't think there's that many. Okay, so I didn't skip out this uh, Pokemon Center visit because I just realised we haven't um, spoken to anyone in here yet. And we all like to hear what the people in the Pokemon Centers have to say, don't we? If I had a bike, I would go to Cycling Road. Name drop there, thanks for the info. Poker Flute awakens Pokemon with a sound that only they can hear. Except, no, you can hear it when you play it, you can hear it in the game. Never mind. I rode uphill from Cycling Road on Cycling Road from Fushia. Cool story. Cool, cool story. Alright, um. So the last, uh couple of bits to show you in this episode before I call it a day. Uh, well, the last thing I'm going to show you, actually, is in here. This is the um, gambling game corner. Now, I haven't picked up the coin case yet. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's go show you where you get the coin case from. Um, I'm going to have to try and remember now. I don't think it's the building next door. I think it's 
One of those two below me there. Uh, it's been a while, this guy. It's been a while. Oh, not spoken to you yet. Hello. What are you staring at? Ah, you looked away first. Uh, yeah, it's this building. Lovely. And it's this guy in the corner. Go ahead. Laugh. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, right, okay. I'm flat out busted. No more slots for me. I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. And they have received a coin case. Lovely. Alright, so that's where you get the coin case that you can then use in the game corner. Rocket game corner. The playground for grown-ups. Right, let's head back in there. And if you walk around pressing A, you can generally find a lot of coins. A good little general rule to follow is if there's a person playing a slot, look at the square across from behind them and down one. Like I just did there. Look, yep, yeah, okay. So there's coins there. Look at that again, behind him and down one. It's not every person and not every pile of coins is in that sort of a position. However, more often than not, there is. Yeah, so I don't know where all of them are off the top of my head. But that's look at that. Four out of four. I don't, this, this guy probably not. I don't think this guy up here. Oh, he has. Wow, okay. Look at that. Five out of five. Maybe it is a rule. Hang on, let's go and, let's go and talk to the floor behind everyone. You know, like the same people do. Wow, okay. That's six for six now, isn't it? Have we already done him? Excuse the expression. Yep, yeah, okay, so we've done the first two columns of people. Right, come on. So oh, wrong square. I'm going to say someone's going to prove me wrong. Oh, wow. Okay, so there's a rule for you guys. And this guy can just be the exception to the rule if he so wishes. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Nothing there. Typical, that. There's one above him. No. Alright, and then what you want to do is just walk around and just uh, stop on every square very briefly and just button bash A. And you'll probably find a few more. Are they on the top? There we go, there's some. I think there's a big pile. There's like 100 or 200 somewhere. It might be on the bottom. Hang on. I might as well show you where they all are now if, if I can remember. Oh, that was lucky. There's another 10. Keep going, keep bashing A. Oh, where are these other coins? Are they in the doorway? Nope. Oh, I don't know. There's another set of coins somewhere and it's quite a big, big prize. It's like a bigger stack of coins than you used to find in. Let's uh, go up here. Yeah, this isn't a... Uh... This isn't being very fruitful. Alright, I gotta be honest, I'm pretty bored of doing that now. Okay, I give up. Right, so there's another pile of coins in here somewhere. Someone else can find it. I don't I don't really care. Now, the next part of our adventure is this guy here, because we're gonna head down this sta uh, The staircase here. Okay, so this guy here, staring intently at the poster, is the key to us getting into the underground basement of this place and progressing with the story now. Um, because we need to go back to Lavender Town and get the poker flute to be able to go past. There's a Snorlax block in both ways now, so we do have to do this bit. There's a Snorlax block in the way out of uh, Saladon City to the west, the way we've not been yet. And there's also um, a Snorlax blocking our way down south from Lavender Town. So we can't get to Fushia City and finish the game without this bit. So, in the next part, I'll be uh, taking on the game corner. So for now, I've been Ibeza. You've been amazing. He's been a bit suspicious, if you ask me, staring at that poster. And I will see you a bit more regularly, hopefully. But I'll definitely see you next time.